If you just got your dbrand Pixelbook Go skin, relax, this is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with up to four elements, top, logo, palm rest, and trackpad. A microfiber cloth is also included to help smooth down the edges. You will require a hairdryer for this installation, so pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Let's start with the top skin. Note that in order to ensure the skin doesn't peel up over time, it's designed to be slightly smaller than the surface of your Pixelbook. Once you've completed installation, you'll see that there is uniformly equal spacing between the border of the skin and the edge of your laptop. To begin, remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Lay the skin down, then pick up your laptop. Align the skin between both sides of the hinge, less than half a millimeter from the border. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion, leaving the edge unstuck. Next, lift the skin, shift the 3M paper to the left, and focus your attention on the bottom right. Pull the skin tight, then gently wrap the bottom edge of the skin around the curve. Take a look at the two right corners. You should see equal spacing between the border of the skin and the edge of the laptop on both sides. If the spacing isn't equal on both edges, simply peel it off and start again. Once lined up, apply pressure along the right side. Next, shift the 3M paper down diagonally by about two inches and apply pressure to the exposed portions. Repeat this process until the entire top surface has been applied. At this point, all the edges should still be unstuck. Let's take a moment to stick them down. Grab your hair dryer and heat up one of the four sides. Once heated, Apply firm pressure to secure the skin in place. Repeat this process for the remaining three sides and all corners. Next, let's apply the logo skin. Note that there are two logos included on each sheet, just in case you f it up on your first try. To apply the logo skin, just stencil it. Let's install the palm rest. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Make sure to peel the skin gently, otherwise the cutouts may remain attached to the 3M paper. To prevent this, gently hold the skin in the highlighted area while removing it from the paper. Align around the hinges and the exposed portion of the speaker cutouts. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to secure the skin in place. Next, shift the 3M paper to the left. Apply pressure to the right side, leaving the flap unstuck. You may now remove the right speaker cutout. Next, shift the 3M paper down diagonally by about two inches and apply pressure to the exposed portion. Continue this process until the entire palm rest skin has been applied.
apply one more round of pressure to ensure the skin is secured in place. Wrap the bottom flap around the edge of the palm rest, bit by bit, applying firm pressure from the center outwards. Next, grab your hair dryer. Heat the bottom edge for 10 to 15 seconds, then rub it with your microfiber cloth. This process will smooth out any bumps or wrinkles and ensure the skin doesn't peel up over time. Now, heat up the right side of the skin until the material becomes soft. Once heated, apply pressure to form the skin around the edge, leaving the corner flap unstuck. Repeat this process for the opposite side. Let's move on to the corner flaps. The key to getting a seamless installation is by applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap, highlighted here. Grab your hair dryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap the corner bit by bit pausing in between to make sure it's seamless. Any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing with your microfiber cloth. Repeat this process for the other corner. Chances are you won't remember all those instructions, so jump back to the time shown on screen. See you back here in a bit. Once complete, the corners should look like this. Finally, remove the left speaker, keyboard, and trackpad cutouts. To install the trackpad skin, just remove the trackpad. Done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.